In the podcast this day we did reveal that the greatest destruction in our purpose pursuit which is internal actually we say that there are external and internal destructions that we will inevitably face because we are living in this empirical world that is governed with time which is limited time is not infinite it is finite it is going to come to an end obviously for as as individuals we have our own definite finite times that are going to come to an end but as long as we are living in this realm that is governed by finite time we will face destructions internally and externally in our purpose pursuits we are living in a dead cold black fallen world and it is foolhardy to think that we're going to escape out of it by tiptoeing carefully and avoiding heartaches and so on but the greatest destruction is internal in my opinion the greatest destruction to a purpose pursuit is what it is impatience let us talk more about that in this episode today stay tuned <laughs> Welcome to the Life Signatures podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. There are very many stories that I can be able to use to bring my point home today and uh, there are quite a number that I can think of I can think of the echoes of diamonds but that is not necessarily it is not necessarily adept it's not necessarily apt you know the story of echoes of diamonds a guy who is uh, probably he's uh, he's heard that uh, people are mining gold and diamonds in a particular place and he has this estate his his ranch and so on he sells off his ranch and uh, he goes looking for the diamonds and uh, the guy who has just bought this ranch or this estate goes and starts digging somewhere and guess what finds the diamonds meanwhile the other guy has used nearly all of the proceeds he got from selling his ranch and is running broke and he hasn't found the diamonds and he is told of a story that uh, the land that he sold has diamonds and he falls off of his horse and basically just dies by breaking his neck accidentally well i can use that story i can also use the story of mining where some guys are uh, in the real mines and uh, what is happening this i, I think is a true true life story what is happening is that they are trying to mine and to get gold and uh, the gold was there actually someone bought a gold mine the gold was there but it's basically it it the vein of the gold just vanished it just vanished And so this man gives up and sells the mine because he's thinking that it's not going to be there he sells it if i get my facts correct i can't remember the exact story i wish i, I had uh, i had my research before i did this episode but i can't remember the exact story so i'm told this guy sells this thing at $100 the whole mine he says at $100 right now the guy who has been sold this mine he goes and talks to a geologist a geologist knows these things about split tectonics and rock formations and earthquakes and so on 
and he informs him that if at all the gold was there initially, chances are that an earthquake might have just formed or just displaced the vein of the gold just a little bit, but it's just within, it's in the vicinity. You can dig it up, you can continue for a little, uh, for a little bit, and you're going to strike the gold. And that's exactly what happened. My point is that impatience in our purpose pursuit has cost us a lot. We can be talking about all these guys, the acres of diamond and the other guys who struck the gold and so on, but it is even in our very lives today, the idea that we are impatient because we really want to get the results faster than, than yesterday. We get impatient and we leave the gold, we leave the diamonds behind. And we run elsewhere being attracted by shiny objects thinking that the answer is away. By the way, let me tell you the biggest treasure, the biggest treasure you have, the biggest treasure in the world is not some place in South Africa in the gold mines or some place in titanium in the Democratic Republic of Congo or some oil in the Middle East and so on. The treasure of the earth is you and I. We, without us, there is nothing that offers. We are the ones who offer, who ascribe value to this gold and all these things that are so-called the treasures of this earth. It is to realize that we are the treasure and invariably, for the most part, guess what? We don't invest in ourselves. We are so impatient with ourselves. We leave ourselves and we go elsewhere trying to, guess what? Trying to strike gold and trying to strike diamond. We've left the treasure. And wherever we go, the treasure is following us. And we have absolutely no idea. We're totally oblivious that we are the treasure. Impatience. We are so impatient with ourselves. Someone starts playing guitar and you know their fingers start wearing out and so on. They are so impatient. This thing doesn't work and doesn't work and they throw it away and they go elsewhere to do something else because they are impatient. We get scared and we are get, we get impatient because we are afraid of the uncertainty that we are living under. The other reason why we get impatient is because we are greedy totally greedy we can't just wait for maturity we talked about maturity in the episode yesterday we just can't wait for maturity we dig up the seeds that we planted even before they sprout we want to see we are greedy that's why it's so easy to go into a country and tell people we have this forex trading you can be able to pay you get 25 percent i'm talking truth here i've been in that company who can you bring in your twenty five thousand dollars? We're going to give you twenty five percent of it the first four months, and then after a particular time, we'll give you back the principal, huh? And people do that because they're greedy; they want to get rich quick without necessarily being in control of the processes. They do not want maturity. This world was brought to its knees. This known world was brought to its knees in the year 2008 because of the collective greed of people, few individuals in the banking and insurance sectors. And that greed is the father or maybe the mother of impatience. Like I've already shared, people want instant results. People want to circumnavigate the process but then they get the reward. They want no sweat, but they want the muscles. They want a lean feet, but they don't want to get involved in the process. That's why when the doctor subscribes to them to go and do some physical exercises, they go into the pharmacy and they ask, do you have this in chewable format? They want to chew exercises. <laughs> you want to chew a plank. You want to chew the lunges. You want to chew the sit-ups and the press-ups and, and the jogging and the aerobics and the weight lifting. You can't chew that thing. People want the process. I mean, people want the result, but don't, don't, don't want the process. And they get impatient because of greed. People have failed to understand that the most important part of accomplishing something is not the reward itself. It is not the reward that we get that is the most important. But the person that will become due to the process is the most important thing. 
the process makes us become. Therefore, the process is much more important than the result. If you can master the process, you don't need to worry about the result. But people want the result without the process. Ain't gonna happen, man. The other day in Kenya, when I say the other day, I mean some decades back, there was a particular preacher who was saying that they, they are miracle babies, is making miracle babies. As in there is no gestation. Miracle babies. And guess what? There were congregations, millions, okay, not millions, thousands of people flocking to that guy. People are greedy, even in spiritual circles. That's why, again, controversially, people want miracles more than they want to work. God has placed you in an environment where you're supposed to work, but you want a miracle instead. You are impatient with the process. Impatience is the most biggest destruction in our pursuit of purpose. And I believe that this is the core reason why God only promotes those who have been proven and have been qualified. As it says, and whom he foreordained, these are scriptures in Romans, whom he foreordained, he also called. And whom he called, he also justified. And whom he justified, he also glorified. It is a process. You are foreordained. In other words, God knows and puts a, a mental note about you before you are even born. Then you get born and then you get called. It's a process. And then you get justified. And then you get glorified. It is a process. There's no shortcut there. There's no miracle there. So if you are impatient with your purpose pursuit, you will not go far in your life. Tomorrow we will start doing deep, a deep dive into this uh, subject matter. Until then, bye bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.